Hello everyone, today we're going to learn some basics about Nixo Scanner. Before we start, please be advised this video is only designed for educational purposes and ethical hacking. Please do not use this type of a scan on any environment that you're not allowed. Let's go ahead and start by launching our terminal and typing nikto-h for help. As you can see, there are a lot of commands available in Nikto. For example, dbcheck, which basically checks for database on a web server, or uh, dash host, which is what we use all the time to specify the IP address of our web server or the URL. We also have output command, which we can print out our result for further investigation or to gather our information for our final report. As a pen tester, when you work for a client, you want to save all of your investigation and provide it to client at the end as a report. So having this command is very useful. We also have no SSL, which basically uh, disable uh, SSL vulnerabilities. We also have plugins, which we can define what plugins we want to scan. We have port, we can switch our port to like SSH, like 22, or we can do FTTP or whatever we like. Uh, we can also update our tools. And those are the only things you're pretty much gonna use when you're using Nikto. So let's give it a try and see how it works. We simply type nikto-h for our host IP address or URL, and then we can output it out to a text file uh, that's uh, saved locally or on any specific uh, location in our system. We can disable SSL, for example, so we can just put no SSL, or we can just you know run a simple scan on port uh, 22 which is basically uh, SSH so depending on what you want to do you can change your command for sake of this training I have already done the scan on some web server that they have permission to make sure you don't do this on any web server that you're not allowed as you can see I have been able to discover a lot of vulnerabilities for this uh, web server that we can discuss with our client to patch or improve because there are a lot of vulnerability available on this specific server. There are a lot of header issues, there are a lot of injection issues, we have some port available, we have uh, HTTP methods available for us to use on different type of attack, we can proceed with beach attack, and many more as you can see. I also have another uh, website here listed as well uh, that you can see I was even able to I was even able to locate uh, their WordPress login um, and over here we were able to find out they have cross-site available for us to use and so this is how basically Nikto works. Um, you can try this on your web server and fix the vulnerabilities your web server has and uh, proceed with improving your uh, web server. A lot of people have asked me what's the difference between Nikto and other scanners and to be honest with you there are a lot of different scanners that we can use which provide different type of tools and feature but Nikto is a very common one because it covers all types of web servers so it doesn't matter if it's based on WordPress or Apache it will find the vulnerabilities for that specific web server so that's it for today I will be posting more web penetration videos so please leave a comment below and let me know what type of tools you want me to go over and if you like this video please go ahead and give us a thumbs up and subscribe Thanks for watching again and you have a great day.